Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Playing Life with Erin, and I'm so excited you decided to check out this video. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're returning, hey, hey, how have you been? All right, guys, I am so excited for today's video. Um, in today's video, we're going to be setting up my Hobonichi cousin for 2024. Um, I've been really, really excited to do this, but I had some last minute things coming in. They finally all came in, and um, I think we're ready. So, Okay, I've got a pile of stickers over here. I've got some um, craft paper. I've got some vellum. I've got all sorts of things. Um, I do want to add that I do have a case or a cover, folio, whatever you want to call it, for the Hobonichi, um, for the cousin for the 2024. I did put my 2023 in there. And just so you guys can see, I'll give you a quick little, in case this is your first time to the channel, this is my Hobonichi cousin for 2023. Um, all of everything in here is pretty much, it's all Coffee Monster Co. I would say 98% of it. If you've been around on the channel, you already know that. Um, so this is like my setup from last year. I did some tip-ins. Um, I did this too last year and it kind of already came out, but that's all right. Where I just, I created these cards, like little card holders. Um, and I keep my sticky notes in here for... Um, they're transparent notes flags for marking things on my calendar. I did all of the tabs on the side and primarily the theme of this planner is Coffee Monster Co. I am obsessed. I love the Coffee Monsters Co. I've had a lot of people ask me if I use other people's stickers. I do. I tend to use them in my weeks and now um, going forward for 2024. I have set up a Hobonichi Han and it's going to be for all things planning life with Erin. I will pull that out if you are interested in this setup video. It's a few videos down. If I remember, I will link it in the description below. I've had a few people ask me what the difference is between the Hobonichi Cousin and the Hobonichi Han. The only difference is, is that the Han is a hardcover. Everything else inside the book is exactly the same as the Hobonichi Cousin. So the Hobonichi Han this year for um, Planning Life with Erin for 2024 is going to be um, some Coffee Monster Co., obviously, because I have all of their stickers <laughs> on here but it's going to be a little combination of all things that i love um including the coffee monster co a lot of vintage vibes happy planner stickers small shops big shops all the shops all the things so i do use other people's stickers my whole thing is and my husband joe has asked me before well how come you just use the coffee monster co stickers like don't you think you should show other people's stickers and it's not that i don't want to and i do like i said in my hope in two weeks and then going forward in the han i'll i'll be you know, doing other plan with me's with like maybe Live Love Posh and um, uh, Happy Planner, Castatic Plans, all those things, right? But here's the thing, like this is my planner. Like the Hobonichi Cousin is my planner. This planner has brought me peace. Um, this one and the Hobonichi Weeks, I absolutely adore them. Um, but part of what brings me so much joy about planning in my Hobonichi Cousin is the Coffee Monster Co. I absolutely adore those stickers. They put a big smile on my face and... Um, it's what makes me happy. So this book will still primarily be 99% The Coffee Monster Co. That is my disclaimer. Um, okay, so with that being said, <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking a little outside of the box. So let's see, let me, let me gather up my things. Let me just kind of put everything out in front of me. All right, so I think I'm going with these two stickers are kind of like my, oops, my um, launching Place, I guess so I really like this on this craft paper um, and then I have a, a bunch of other stickers that I'm gonna be adding but I had this thought process now I don't know if any of you um, follow Helen from the Coffee Monster Co she has the AVEC and I was going to do the AVEC this year I was very curious because my my cousin this year got pretty she got pretty chunky guys and I am struggling a little bit now I get towards the end um, a lot of you reached out and said just to fold the book over and yes I could do all those things that's fine um, and a few people actually told me that the AVEC gets quite chunky too depending on how many stickers you use in it um, my whole reasoning for not using it was because I really don't like that yellow I don't mind the blue um, I think it's like kind of like this color I don't mind the blue, but I do have issues with that yellow color. I'm not a big fan of yellow if you've been around on the channel for a minute. Um, I'm not a fan of like reds and oranges and yellows, though I do use them seasonally. I'm not a huge, it's not my like, woo, favorite color. This is also not my favorite color. <laughs> 
So, Helen <clears throat> did not like the yellow either. She used some craft paper and she had put it all over the cover. I'm not sure if she did it on the back too. I can't remember. But got my wheels turning and it kind of got me thinking because I've been struggling. So, last year, my cover was, um, I kept it. I kept the clear cover on, which I do have a new one for this year. Um, but I just did some stickers on the cover. <clears throat> and then, like I said, I did. So I did this. Um, this planner be belongs to and these cards, the vellum. But as you can see, it's not really, I mean, aside from the tippins, I didn't really go too, too crazy with stickers. I did do the month um, at a glance, the calendars from the Coffee Monster Co. Some more tippins. Um and I did a memory board or a vision board rather back here with my word of the year. I have not chosen a word of the year yet, so I'm not sure. We'll have to do a little, a little update. We'll do a little flip through. Okay, I got a phone call. So it booted me off of my filming on my phone. Um, and then I decided while I was getting off the phone that I was just going to print out my vision board since I kind of already had it done. I was just debating on whether I wanted to do it all on one sheet or if I wanted to do individual pictures like I did the last time. I'm not quite sure this is going to fit. I kind of just like winged it, but um, we will do this. I'll cut it down and we'll put that in if we have time. Okay, so I don't know where I was at. I kind of went a little squirrel, but what I'm thinking is, so I went over to the craft store and I'm thinking, totally got this inspiration from Helen, but I think I want to add this. Um, this one's like a black metallic and then this one's kind of like, I don't know, it reminds me of a chalkboard and I was thinking this one, but when I put these on, I like the way it looks on that better. My theme color wise has been like black and like a sagey green, but it's kind of like, I'm kind of like leaning towards more of like this black and this is kind of like a grayish to me. So, and I really like how this craft paper pops off of this black. So I think we're gonna go for it, guys. Um, I did pre-cut this, but I just wanna make sure. I might have to trim. I'm gonna leave the um, the binding, because I like that. And then we're gonna do something on the back, I think, also. So we're a little off. Okay, so I'm going to, again, kinda, I'm not, maybe I should do this with a straight edge. Okay, wait a minute trying to like kind of just not do whatever but um I don't want to stress like my whole motto if you've been around I don't stress over my planner this paper is particularly hard to cut because it's black on both sides and I actually prefer I don't want to cut too much off um it'd be nicer if it was white on one side so I could see a little bit better but let's see if I did that correctly so my whole thing about my planners is that, um, yes, I want them to look nice, um, but I try not to stress out too much about them because it's my, it's my, it's my self-care. That's what I've kind of like started to figure out. This is definitely my self-care. Um, and I enjoy it so much. I just said to Joe last night, we were talking, um, is this not going to work or... Is this the empty one? Oh no. Ah. Let's try this one. I think this one will work. I have no idea if this is like permanent or, ah, this is not even. We are off to a great start. Um, okay, there we go. We're gonna try this one. Now that I got some uh, white out on there, it's okay. There we go. I have a working one now. Um, yeah, so I was just saying to Joe last night because I was looking at um, the YouTube stats and I was like, wow, I was like, I think that we might actually hit 4,000 at the end of the year. And I'm so excited that um, you guys are here with us. And, you know, I absolutely love doing this. It started off as like a, a hobby that I just really enjoyed. So I've always been a planner. I've had lists everywhere. It's quite crazy the amount of lists oops, that I've had over the years. And if you guys saw the planner that I used for distance learning, whew. Um, but I have just recently in the last, I don't know, I think this is the third year of my creative planning journey. 
Um, and I always used to say to Joe, I just totally ruined this. Oh, let me see if I can just save it. All right. Um, I used to say to Joe that I wish that I had a hobby. And look at this. I'm like, we're going crazy today. Hold on. Let's see if I can get this on. I don't want to, I don't want to talk through this because, uh, I don't want to mess it up. Do I want to round that edge? Okay. I think I might round the edges. Yeah, let's do that. So I've always wanted a hobby, something that, you know, just brought me joy and, um, it was something that was relaxing and all the things. And, you know, I used to say this to Joe when, when, uh, before we had kids and I never quite, quite found anything. Like he had his thing where he, he likes to game and do all that. And I always was like somewhat, um, I guess jealous of that. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be talking. Oh no. Oh no. He <laughs> did not go on straight. All right. That's okay. I think it's okay. I missed a spot. Maybe I can fix it. I have, an, I have more of this. So just in case. But let's see if we can just scoot it over a bit. Ooh, I don't recommend this. Don't try this at home, kids. No, I'm kidding. All right, let's see if I can salvage this. And if I can't, I'll cut another piece. Right? Because no stress. Right, that's a little bit better. It's a little wrinkly now, but it goes over the edge and then we'll just cut that. It's probably what I should have done in the first place. Oh my gosh, though, that is stunning. All right, so let's carefully cut this. Um, yeah, so I, I have totally found that hobby. I absolutely enjoy this. And even if I didn't have the YouTube channel and stuff, it would just be something that I was doing on my own. And, um, you know, it's just really cool that I get to do it with all of you guys. And like the, the planner community is so much more than I ever would have thought it would be, if that makes any sense. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, the people that I have met on this journey are some of the coolest people that I have met in my life. And um, I guess, like, I kind of feel like I'm home. <laughs> so, like, I do this weird thing where I smell books. Um, and Joe's always been like, oh, my gosh, you're so strange. Um, I've noticed that Weston actually likes the way books smell, too. He likes to read. And then um, I stumbled upon others out there in this world that also like to smell books um, and stationery and paper and, you know, all the things. So if you're one of those people, let me know down in the comments. Um, but I have found my people for sure. And I'm so grateful to be here with you guys. And, um, you know, I don't know if I say it. I know I say thank you and all that good stuff. And, but um, I don't, know if people really get like so this it, I don't want to say it saved me because it didn't save me but um it's made it so like I feel like I'm a part of something and I think that that was something that I was always lacking or or missing out on I don't know if that makes any sense I'm just kind of rambling right now but um yeah so I mean like it, it's just it's a lot it's so it's so nice to be here and um be hanging out with you and um yeah and I appreciate all of you so much more than um more than I think that you probably know so um okay anyways enough with the the tears and the the things I think I'm going to put this on the back. Here has been my issue. I don't know if I like it on, if I want to do it on like a black or white, kind of like the white. Let me see. Let's go to the front and let's see. Ooh, I think I like that. All right, so I'm going to use this. I've had this for a while. Whoa, I'm dropping things. I've had this for a while. I don't normally, I, sorry, hold on. I don't normally like, you know, I didn't do this last year where I stuck things all over the book, but I think 
I like this, how it says cheating. Cheating scandal. And I'm trying to kind of look at this because I'm trying to figure out, I would like to do one in the front also. So I'm thinking that or, yeah, I guess on this one. My other option was I was gonna put one on one side and then one on the other half on this side. So it looks like, like a newspaper. So it'd kind of be like that and then you'd flip it. But, all right, guys, I didn't really, I mean, I worked this out a little bit. I have like, if you guys saw my Hobie Jihan video, you, just, you know that like, I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. I have all the pieces to the puzzle. I'm just not quite sure how the puzzle goes together. So, hold on, I'm like losing stickers over here. All right, I'm going to do this on the back. I think I like the cheat. I like the cheating scandal. It's cute. Okay, let's get my, oh, it's over here. I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way. I'm like terrified that I'm going to spill my coffee. <laughs> Definitely been a week to remember guys so it is friday what's today oh <laughs> friday december 15th um there is 10 days till christmas well, let me know down in the comments if you are freaking out like i am um i managed to catch up so quick little backstory in case you are new um if you're not new then you guys already know all this but i my husband and i had covid that sent me behind like a week or two, maybe. Um, and I've just recently, this week, finally kind of caught up with everything. And I'm actually right where I should be for this time of the year, which is no presents wrapped and tons of baking still to do. <laughs> but on top of all of that, my dearest lovely daughter and her school, um, Oh, I cut this a little too short. Oh, well, it's okay. I kind of had a feeling I was as well. I wanted to check it, but I do need to. Do I want to cut a little bit on each side? All right, I'm putting the white underneath it anyway, so I'm not really super duper concerned on whether or not it's like matching on this. But hopefully that makes sense. I'm not the best describer of things. Um. So yeah, my lovely daughter came home on Monday with a note saying that there is the, there is headlights going around. And um, yeah, so I've been a little stressed out this week because <laughs> Christmas is at my house with my parents and I don't, I don't want to know. I really, I just, my mom is like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, I, I know, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not really my, um, my fault, but here we are. So I've been cleaning my house like crazy. Um, we've had experience in this department years ago. So I'm a little bit educated now on the ways of what to do. Um, but you know, I've been doing lots of laundry. So also if you've been here for a minute, you know how much laundry I do. I tend to do it all in one day. And I've been trying this thing where I don't do all of the laundry <laughs> in one day. Um, and it's like the universe is like, ha, we're going to make you not do it all in one day. Because essentially, um, I've been doing laundry every day. So I've been mainly just taking Spencer's clothes and her coat. And um, her coat especially. Just put it in the dryer. Please tell me this is going to fit. Okay, I think this is going to be just fine right there. Okay, it works. We'll save this so we can cut down this part. All right, now, I think what I wanna do is, I wanna glue this down on here first and then put that on there. I think that makes sense. Okay, so let's see if we can find, oh, hi, these two are like hanging out together. Is this empty? I can't even tell. I just opened this, so it shouldn't be, but it's seeming like it doesn't wanna work. Goodness gracious. All right, so this one might go in the trash. This one is not working because it's all out of whack here. But maybe I can fix it. 
Well, I'm taping the right side right now. So, um, what was I talking about? OMG. Oh, yeah. So, it's the universe. It's like, haha, Erin, you have to do laundry every day now. So, um, basically, when, when Spencer comes in, I make her take her coat off and her earmuffs and all that good stuff. Because, of course, you know, it's winter. And, um, uh, then I take all that and I just put it right in the dryer and I've been washing her clothes like so she doesn't have a hamper full. Um, yeah, it's been so fun. <laughs> so now on top of all of my regular anxiety, I've got my extra fancy Christmas anxiety. <laughs> It's been fun. Oh my gosh, guys. I love how that looks right now. I'm very excited. Okay. We're going to glue this on. And then um, if there is anything hanging over, we will cut it off. That's probably what I should have done the first time. This is like all... I'm experimenting. And for me, this is a bit out of the box. Um, and like, I know that I do not have to glue this down. I know that I could just put it in my clear cover and all the things. But... I'm like a permanent kind of girl, like it's all or nothing. So I'm I'm okay with this. I know that I will still love it in 20, the end of 2024. So when we're doing our setup for 2025, oh my goodness, um, we will be reviewing or doing a flip through of this one. And I know that, oh goodness, I'm making a hot mess over here. I know that I will love this. I just need to double check and make sure I'm putting it on the right way. All right, so let's be quiet so Erin can do this. How do I want to do it? Let's do it this way. Oh, that's easier. I don't even know. Oh, no. Okay. Let's breathe and put her down as even as we can. And then, like I said, we'll just cut the edges off. Ooh, I like it. All right, not bad. I was a little short here, but I think it's okay. And we can just trim. Actually, I don't think we need to. Ooh, guys. Okay, I just might have squealed a little bit. I really like that. Okay, so now that I've got my cover figured out. Ooh, so cool. Love it. All right, let's do some stickers on the front. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee, so pardon me for a second. All right, now, 2024, do we want that right in the middle? Let's see, what are we putting on here? I love this, the world is lucky to have you. I think that's so great. These are, I think, the only two I have on craft um, paper. So, I like this How to Life manual. I think that's so funny and also appropriate for my planner. I kinda like that like that. I haven't like pre- looked at these if that makes sense um like usually I think it was um yeah for the Han I kind of like laid everything out and then just kind of played with it a little bit but um let's see I love sticky notes I love washi I kind of like this one because it goes I'm not sure about this one I'm mad I meant to get the one that said I think I love planners or something like that and I totally like zoned out and I did not <laughs> Oh, and by the way, thank you so much for for letting me know that Control Z is undo. Thank you because I felt really dumb that I didn't know what that was. <laughs> Joe even said it to me. He's like, "Isn't that like a control on the the um, the Apple?" And I'm like, "I don't know." <laughs> so yeah, it is. I think I might want to put this one on the inside. Ooh, flying away from my problems. Mm, let's see. I do like this one. Maybe this guy in the middle and then control Z. Do we like that? I feel like I'm a little, <laughs> I don't like to be too symmetrical. I mean, I do love to be symmetrical. I really do. Joe's the one that's like, no, you can't do that. And I'm like, why? <laughs> okay. This looks nice. I don't not like this. So let's take a mental picture of this for a second. I'm going to move this one off and put that one there. I do like this bear. He is cute. Maybe we do that. What do you think, guys? Or do we do like this and put the date at the top? Kind of put this down here and put this here. Mm, I don't think I like it that way. Now, how did I have it? We had this one here. 
right? That one. And then how to life manual. That one might look good there. What do we think? This is, should be, a, all right, so next year, I think that I might do this in a live video on YouTube. And I just realized it might be a little crooked. Sorry if I am. Um, <laughs> so this way you guys can tell me what your thoughts are. Because when we set up the horn, you guys, someone was like, I was yelling. <laughs> okay, do we like it like this? Or do we like it like this? It's not too much of a difference. But, or do we like it like that? I kind of don't want these two close together. I want to spread this out a little bit. How to life manual. Mm, I have a sticker on me. What else is new, right? All right. Um, let's put down the ones we know. This one, we know. We are putting this one at the top. We're just going to do it. We don't overthink things over here. <laughs> okay. Woo! And I do like this down here. So we're going to put this down here. <clears throat> I'm so excited for my planner for 2024. I can't even, um, that's straight. No, good enough. All right. I like this to do, I think I'm just going to stick them down like this, guys, because I think I do like it like this. Um, and I'm awful with taking the stickers off their backing just in case, you know, you're new. <laughs> it's a thing. How to life manual. That one's so good. How to life manual. That is what this is. This is not a Hobonichi cousin. This is a how to life <laughs> manual. Love it. Okay, that one. To do, wake up, stretch, breakfast, plan for the day, nap, <laughs> laundry, and adult responsibilities. I love sticky notes because I do. I used to live my life on like a post-it note. I was that person. Um, I had two children under five and I was forgetting everything because, you know, mom brains a thing and it doesn't go away in case you're wondering. <laughs> and, uh, I literally had post-it notes all over the cupboard in my kitchen and that's how I lived my life. So I love sticky notes. Okay. <gasps> I'm so excited. All right. Let's just review. Ooh. Okay. Now. Let's open the cover now on here. How do I want to do this? I think for here, I'm going to do, all right, let's see. I don't want to throw anything away by accident. I have a, that's not going on there. Okay, where is my nameplate? Kind of like how this is black and white. And I think that I want to do the newspaper on this side. So we'll kind of stick with mostly black and white ones, I think. And we'll do another 2024. I don't want to get rid of this. So maybe we'll do that. Can you guys see? Sorry if I'm not in frame. I'm trying. And then we could do flying for my problems and kind of keep this page like a black and white to kind of go with the newspaper. Or do we just like throw in a pop of color? Oops. <laughs> like, hold on, let me move this guy out of the way. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I don't know. I do have, let's see. I have this, but in color. Let's see how we like that. I think it's in here. Should be in here. My stuff is like legit all over the place. Um, I have orders that I haven't put away. Oh, it's in here. This one's cute too. So I don't normally like rainbow in lots of color. Um, I do like black and white. I like grayish. I like all the neutrals. So this might be a little different for me. Like maybe do we put that there and then not have that. Kind of do something like this. And then, or we could do the flying for my problems. What else do I have here? I'm like looking around because I kind of separated some things. This is going to go on the other page. And I got flying for my problems. I don't know if I like that with that. I kind of like that there. That's not terrible. I don't not like that. So 
I'm gonna take a mental image here and I'm just gonna kind of remove them in the way that I had them on here because I want to do what I know I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna put this, I just got this vellum from um, Hobby Lobby. Oh, cut a little short. That's okay. It is okay. So I'm gonna stick this down and then I was thinking about putting this on here like that. Or do I wanna put it on this side? I'm putting it down. And then the stickers that I was planning on using were like some of these. I love washi. And then we have a space there. Hmm. I have so many other stickers. I kind of want to leave some space for... All right. I want to leave some space for like just in case stickers because, you know, you never know. But do I want to do it on this side? This I use for like my sticky, I'm going to use it for my sticky notes or for like other stickers and stuff that I might be using throughout the week. All right. I don't know. Okay. Oh, I do have these too. The struggle bus. That's what we're on right now. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this down because I do know that I want this on here. And I don't know if I can salvage this. Let's try to figure out. I think this is the, the side that we want to stick down. So let's see if I can somehow. Now I'm. Let me see if I can like wind this back up again. I really, I don't even know what brand this is. Oh no. All right, let's see if we can get another one. All right, I've got this. It's empty, but I do have a refill. And I have no idea if this is like removable or permanent. So my suggestion would be to do permanent, but um, for sake of, I don't know what I'm doing here with this one. <laughs> I can't, I got this, I think, in my stocking. So this is removable, but the, the um, The inserts are different, I think, because Joe had given it to me, Santa, in my stocking last Christmas, I think. And then because I'm the person that I am, I took everything out of the package and then stored it away nice and neat in a little storage container. And then one day I looked at it and I went, huh, I don't know if this is removable or permanent. <laughs> Um, permanent would probably be better because this isn't really not going to go anywhere, but I think removable is fine also. And the one that I was just using is probably removable because I was able to just take it off. No problem. Okay. Gotta be silent when I'm doing this. Probably not even straight, but it's okay. Ooh, that looks cute. So these were just like little daisies. I found it at um, Hobby Lobby. No, I was at Michael's. I don't remember where I was. No, I was at Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't tend to shop there very often, but I do like their selection sometimes on like vellums and craft paper. So I went there today after I went to North Kingstown because I had to go get more spray for little Miss Spencer. I think I'm just totally cutting my page. That put me in the whole 50 bucks, but it's worth it. I mean, it works, so whatever. And we don't have anything. Just to clarify, in case nobody caught that part, we do not have it. I am doing everything humanly possible to prevent it. So that's where we're in the preventative measures time right now. Code red, code red. Oh my God, I can't, guys, the week that I've had. So anyways, go back to my laundry thing. I don't even know if I finished that story. So yeah, the universe is kicking my butt. And it's like, no, haha, ha, you have to do laundry forever. So that's where I'm at right now. That is so crooked, but you know what? I don't care. Um, and then I pulled my back out last night when I was putting the clothes from the washing machine to the dryer. It was very, I can't even, I can't make this stuff up, guys. Is that straight? Is it? I don't know. Okay. I think it's straight. Probably not. Nope, it's not bad. Okay. Ooh, so exciting. Okay, so that's trash. Now, what is it gonna do on this side? All right. 
Should we stick down my other, where'd it go? My other vellum, I can't. And then this one, I'm just gonna stick it down and then I'm gonna trim this one off also. This one might be a little skinny. I feel like, do we want it to be white like that? I mean, like, I feel like that looks like more like a newspaper. Hmm. Um, 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 um. Let me see. I don't have any more of that, but I could. Hmm. I kind of think I want it to be white. So let's, oh, totally lied. I have more of this right here. This would be perfect because it's just thin enough. Oh, wait, I'm doing it on the wrong page. It's thin enough where it's not gonna be too, too heavy. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so we're gonna do this like the easy way. We're gonna kind of cheat a little bit. And I'm gonna move this off to the side and I'm going to stick this down on here and then I'm gonna cut it. Um, yeah, I have like really nice weighted like printer paper and um, Spencer and Weston used it all. I had like just one, um, one package of it. <laughs> and I said to Joe, I was like, you know, they're using my good paper. <laughs> Granted, I don't use it that often, but it's just the right weight. Like, it probably would have been great for this, where I think regular printer paper would have been too thin. Um, but he's like, well, why don't you move it? So I have a drawer, drawer system that I use for my paper and my stickers and my sticker paper and all that stuff. And so I did a little sh switcheroo because I noticed where they were grabbing the paper from. So I switched it with... Um, the regular paper and then those two kids you know there's no flies on them they are not dumb by any means they were like oh this is not the same paper so what did they do still went for the good paper gosh it's children stationary children of a stationary person stationary problems who just sneezed because it just squeaked i think that might have been Bo. it squeaks he's so small still Okay. I'm really excited for this setup. Um, I've been pretty excited to do this, so I'm glad that I'm getting it in now. And then next week, we've got some plan with me's that we're going to be doing. And then we have um, our midweek check-in that I've been working on this week. That'll probably go up, I think. So today's Friday, right? I said that. It's Friday the 15th. And... Um, I want, to, I want this to be at the top like that. So I'll cut the bottom. Okay, I think we can do this, guys. So the midweek check-in will probably go in, go up on Sunday. So if you have been interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do that now so you don't forget. And then hit the bell notification so you're notified anytime we come out with something new. Um, and then if you're enjoying this video or if you've enjoyed any other videos that we've put up on the channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because that really helps the channel and we so appreciate it. And this will go up tonight. So I'm excited to share this with you guys. I could put it up on Saturday, but I just can't wait to share it. So it'll go up tonight. And then, um, all right, you know what I want to do here? Because we're having a bit of a height problem. Let's see if I can do this without, I kind of just want this to be a little bit more flat. Oh, let's see. <laughs> See so if we can get this done. We're gonna oh, we're gonna line that up to the top because I I don't mind cutting the bottom part off a little bit. I, have, I feel like I have more room on the bottom than I do on the top. Okay, yeah. So the midweek check-in will go up to uh, no, not tonight. Sorry, that'll go up on Sunday probably. So honestly, I'm still um, checking in. So I figure I could take us to Saturday and then edit and post it on Sunday. Oh my goodness. I am so excited right now. This is sticky. I have to throw this away. Okay. I don't think you guys can see. It looks like polka dots maybe. Oh, there you go. 
you guys can see that better. So he's like in the clouds, but there's all like flowers. Oh goodness, I am so excited right now. That looks so awesome. Can you guys see that? Yeah. All right, now let's work on this page. Okay, this is gonna be a long video. Disclaimer, maybe I should have said that in the beginning. <laughs> all right, we can do, I don't know, I kind of, maybe, maybe we do the nameplate in color. I think I have one. No. Somewhere. I kind of like the black and white. I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we do that. We should put the struggle boss on here. <laughs> we have this one. Let's see. I've got this guy. It's kind of like just laying there. These are all my black and white ones. Let's see. And here's another one. Aw. What do you guys think? I think I like this. So we're going to go for it. Where This is not the time to overthink. Right? Right. Oh, wait. Maybe I should write on this before I put it down. Wait a second. Now... Um, I don't like the way I write my name. I've said it before. If you watch my Han setup, I do not like the way I write my name. It came out okay with the Han. So we're going to try to do it a little bit differently. Let me see. I'm trying to see what my pen tip is like. So I use this pen. This is a permanent marker. It is um, an oil base, I think. So you can use it on... Um, I use it on my my clear, transparent um, sticky notes. All right, hold on. I gotta concentrate, guys. Oof! I do not like the way I write my name. That's okay though. Um, but yeah, so I use this this marker on. my sticky notes because then it doesn't um it doesn't smudge these are done differently than last year so how i made it so you can write on it um for any any like you can use a sharpie so it's not going to run try to get this on there Ooh, okay not bad not bad a couple of you um a couple of people suggested i just like use um a stamp or whatever but i i use my own i just don't like the way my name looks in script i mean other people do it okay i'm just not a fan of the way i do it but i've never i think i said this in my other video i've never liked the way i write my name <laughs> so it's okay it's just a, it's just a me thing i guess but it's all right should we do this like off center like boom straight we're going for that <laughs> just stick the sticker down I'm so excited I've been like kind of hoarding stickers for a bit for the purpose of all of my setup videos or setup planners setting up my planners did I mention that it's been a tough week okay I'll put this one down right there wow i like that perfect okay on this page i think what i want to do oh, i kind of like if i put let me see i put stickers in here because i wouldn't put anything bigger than that in there i do like that flying away from my problems they have the same expression though not that that's necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> All right, let's leave that there for a second. I do want to add in the I Love Washi, and I like that. And we need the struggle bus. Oh yeah, I had this one too. Ooh, maybe we put this up here. Hold on, hold. We're gonna have 2024 all over this. Or maybe do we put it down here? Ooh, that looks better. Okay, so I'm thinking something like that. Or we can put on the struggle bus and then this one up here 
and put this one. It's stuck. I can't get it with my nails. There we go. Flying. I do like this one on this side, though. What do we think? And then it does leave me room for other stickers if I want to add more. Because, you know, can't have too many stickers, right? Okay. We'll stick these down. I love this one. It reminds me of my planner friend. We do Zoom, Zoom chats every once in a while. I think we're due for one soon. We've both been pretty busy with all things holiday. I really like this flying for my problems. There's always the one sticker that gives me trouble. Got it. I'm trying to do it without. Cute. I'm very, I think I might put that there. Although if I put it there, it probably leaves enough space. Yeah, we're just gonna put it there. To use the sticker, put it down. I'm so excited for this, guys. This is me on the inside right now. I hope you guys are enjoying this and getting some inspiration. Please let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are and how you're liking it so far. Um, I love hearing from you guys. I'm trying to get better at answering um, as many messages as I can in the little pockets of time that I have. Oh, goodness. That is cute. Oh, I'm very excited about this right now. Ooh, pretty, pretty. Okay. So now it's going to bring us to this page. And I know we're still not done. So I'm going to speed you guys up through a couple of these parts. And this is going to be one of them because... Um, I had to fussy cut all these and I'm not super excited about that. So um, now I have to peel them all. But I want to make sure I put them all in the correct order. September, October, November. I'm going to put those together. And then December. Where is December? I just saw it. All right. So I'm going to put these down and we will see you on the other side. So this is not, this is not my best. Um, I messed up August a little bit and then I messed up September, but that's okay. Honestly, I don't necessarily refer to this page very often, so I'm okay with it. It doesn't really bother me. It's just to have a little extra. Um, and I'm sad that I didn't order two sets of these. I totally forgot that I was setting up two planners this year. So I had to print them out and do my own cutting, which is all right. Didn't come out the best though. All right, so I was gonna do this in my Han and then I changed my mind. So what I wanna do is I wanna take these stickers and I wanna put them down here. So that's January, February. I'm gonna make sure I'm putting down the right stickers. I was gonna order another set for the Han, um, but then I messed up when I did order it and I ordered, only ordered one sheet <laughs> and that's okay. So that to me just says that it wasn't meant to be and that the Han maybe doesn't need them because maybe I'm going to use it for tracking of other things. Okay. Ooh, I like that. That looks cute. Okay. What comes next? May. I think it's Lily of the Valley is for May. 
so cute. That's my husband and Spencer's birthdays are both in May. April is Weston. All right, July, just wanna make sure I'm doing this correctly. We've got July. I love that one, it's so cute. He's just chilling on a lily pad. And then just, um, so you know, I don't really use this perpetual cal calendar. I, I'm i still, I think that sometimes, like I've said this before, I overthink things. Um, in case you're new here, hi, I'm an overthinker. Um, I'm also very anxious. <laughs> um, and I don't know how I really want to use this. So I haven't used it over last year. I'll probably just use it to mark in like birthdays and important dates. Um, maybe like when subscriptions are due, that kind of thing. Um, and just kind of go from there. Oh, I really like the one for December. Cute. But maybe with these seals here, maybe I will try to use this. So let me know down below and in the comments. Give me some ideas on how I can use this. Um, I really love looking at like the trackers and stuff like with the lines, but I don't know how to do that. I'm like, I'm at a loss for some of these things. Like my talent only goes so far, but I'm always willing to learn. So if you have any suggestions or anything like that, please let me know. I'll be forever grateful. Okay, so, so I use these in the Hobri Chihan. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So comparison, again, um, this is an extra long video, but hey. So I used all the tabs. Um, I used them for the weekly section and I used them for the daily section. I And I used the top and I think I actually put it on, yeah, I did. Put it on some acetate and I just did the tabs at the top. I saw this from somebody and I can't remember who. And I said this in my last video with the Han. Um, they used these majority clips and just put the monthly at the top on a tab so then they could just move it from month to month. And then um, I decided to do the same thing with my weekly and just do the tabs in the daily section. I'm obsessed with it and I'm really liking it a lot. So we're gonna do that here. Um, these, these clips I'm pretty certain came from Jet Pens. I have found some similar ones um, on Amazon, so I can definitely link those for you guys. And let me tell you, the, um, the amount of stress that I was under trying to find these clips, because my, I had two, and then I lost the other, I lost this whole package, and I've rearranged my craft space so many times in the last like three months, that I was like, oh no, I hope I didn't throw them away. I did not, <laughs> thankfully. All right, now here is my conundrum. I really liked these. They looked so good in the Hobonichi Han, but I'm kind of going for like these neutral vibes. So I don't know if I should do like, you guys are probably yelling at me right now through the, through it. Like these are really pretty. It's outside my comfort zone. But then again, this was outside my comfort zone too. This is more my speed, like, this one or I have white ones. Um, so I don't know, what do I do, what do I do? Okay, breathe. Let's do this for a second. What do I wanna look at? Do I wanna look at that, that, or like something like that? Hmm, all right, as much as I love these in the Han, I don't think I wanna use them in here. So maybe we'll use these in my weeks or something. All right, guys, what do we think of this one? Where do we go with that one? I kind of like this one. See, the problem is, is that I like this one now today on December 15th. It does have the orange and the yellows in it that I'm not a huge fan of. However, am I gonna like it in May? Not that it matters what's on this side. And then it's gonna be in this planner. Maybe we just do the, oh, I'm trying to just be bold and different. What do you guys think? Oh, I wish I could hear you guys right now. Or do I do this one? Grr, all right, wait a minute. I need to take a moment. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> Let's just work on these top tabs. Um, I want to do, I actually might do, yeah, I think I'm gonna do three because I have a, do I have a daily on here too? Notes, month, daily, no. Okay, so what I think I wanna do, 
I love these. I want to put the little pencil, I think, for the note section. Or not the note section, the daily section. Gosh, I'm so indecisive right now. Let me decide on this first. All right, let's see. I do like this one, but I don't think I'm gonna like it like six months from now, I'm not sure. This one again is more my speed. I think I'm gonna go with either this one or this one, I'm gonna put this one off to the side. Maybe I'll use this one in the weeks because it kind of goes with my weeks. Oh, I don't know. My gut is telling me this one. What if? So I think what's throwing me off is this yellow. So what if? Ah, I got a solution to the problem. Okay, all right, all right. I think I got this. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, we need the monthly. And we'll do that in tan. And then all I did was I just lined this tab up here and then just folded it. Oops. And not folded it onto my nail, so it got stuck on my nail, but I just folded it onto there. Actually, probably could come down a little bit lower. Let's see if I can do that. Or maybe we do these. I have a weekly, daily, let's see. No, I think that's okay. And then I'm gonna pop it in where my monthly section starts. I have not decorated for December. I'm not sure if I'm going to, I might, I'm gonna hold off on that for sure. All right, let me slide this over. Excellent. And then let's do weekly. And then I'm going to do one for my notes too, but I just, I don't know what I want to use yet. I kind of like that glasses. Those are my favorite ones. So I'll put this down on here, fold it over. Um, I'm not sure how I liked the double tab. So that in case you're wondering, that's why I'm doing it this way. Cause when I am searching for my week, um, I end up like flipping through and it's like, yes, it'll pull me to like the first, the first bit of the week or the first, yeah, I guess the first week. This, I feel like I can move week to week and then it'll help me kind of flip through the pages better and faster. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll move, oh, that actually looks really good like that. Let's just move it over a smidge. Ooh, okay, perfect, perfect. All right, so now, what am I going to do for these pages back here? I think, like I said, the the orange, my, or not the orange, the yellow is what's kind of throwing me off. So, we're going to swap it out for the tan ones and hope that I can do this <laughs> and not mess up. Pay it close attention. So, with these, everybody has their own tips and tricks. My whole thing is, is that just make sure you double check to make sure you don't have two pages like that stuck together when you fold it over. Okay, so I'm going to do this real quick because there's been several videos I'm sure out there on how to set these up. Um, and then I will see you on the flip side.
Okay. All right, guys. I think I chose correctly. Oh, no. Hold on. Wait a minute. So this is the tricky part. Sometimes, after you stick it down, I don't squeeze it hard enough, I guess, it can get other pages involved in the party, and we don't want that. So the only one I don't like, I think I messed up on a little bit, was July, but that's okay. Again, after, like wear and tear, um, they, la they hold up really, really well, but I feel like at one point in time in my planner, it was like a T-Rex got a hold of it and started chewing. <laughs> And like my tabs are falling off, which are easily fixed by just a little bit of tape and it's fine. So I'm not overly concerned about them being slightly crooked, but that is how they came out. And I've got to say, I, I like that. I did a good job. I'm glad that I didn't add the yellow. I'm not a huge fan of yellow. So that's why I was like, mm. um, and then you know what, if I change my mind, I could always just put these on top or I could use some undo and do it that way. So I'm pleasantly pleased in how this came out. I do think I wanna use um, a tab to mark. So let's do, let's look for the first, and we'll get one of these. Like I said, these came from Jet Pens. I will link some similar ones that I found at my Amazon shop, um, because, oops, because I was gonna buy them because I couldn't find these. <laughs> And I was going a little bonkers. I'm going to take these all off and put them in my clip container. That's where they should have been this entire time. Okay. Now, I think I want to use... I like the pencil. We'll use the pencil. Because it's my, like, journal section kind of... What am I doing? What's my life? What's happening? Kind of section. So I like this pencil. And I can swap this out whenever I want also. So that's a plus. And we will put this up top. Kind of see if we can line it up with, oh, not bad, not bad. Let's move it over a little bit. Cool. Maybe it can come over just a little bit more. There we go. Ooh, I like it a lot. Put these down a little bit. Perfect. All right, so. Let's see, because I think, guys, I think I might be done. I have a couple of these that I didn't use. This one I'm going to save for something another day, and then this too. So I'm going to put these off to the side. I want to get them messed up with my garbage pile here. Now, what I want to add on here is my vision board. So I put this together, and I had seen someone do this the other day where they just put it on sticker paper. Last year, I cut them, and I put them on here individually. But I think that... Um, doing it in one single sheet is fine. So <clears throat> my goals for, I'm going to write 2024 up here, um, but my goals are to create healthy um, money habits so we can teach our kids the healthy money habits um, and then have a smart goals. So specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and timely um, to do some work and expand um, planning life with Erin and all that stuff. Um, I'm hoping to start a Patreon in 2024. I've got some self-care things here. This is um, for me to be healthy and work out um, and just be in nature a bit more. And then I have healthy lifestyle, which includes fitness and um, working out and water and all that stuff. I would like to read a bit more. And then last year we had um, New Orleans as a trip that I wanted to take. And I still want to do that, but I didn't want to put it back on this vision board. I probably should have, but um, I'm really interested in glamping. I really, really would love to go glamping. So I found this picture and then just relaxing, um, just some sort of re relaxing romantic getaway would be nice. And then I would like to take an adult dance class, like to learn how to, um, not necessarily like ballroom dancing or anything, but um, some sort of a dance class, like hip hop or, you know, I see Spencer doing it and I did it when I was younger, but now I am thinking about doing it as an adult and I think it'd be fun. So, all right, I'm going to stick this down on the turning page of the new year because then I still have this page and this is where I will put my word of the year and I have not... Um, I haven't decided my word of the year yet. I think I actually want to start start from the bottom. So I'm going to do this over from the bottom. And disclaimer, <clears throat> so I finished up filming my um, setup. And when I got back from getting the kids, I looked over at my desk and I saw my 
vision board sitting there and I did not put it in. So I'm like, oh, let me, let me put this in and then we will edit at the end when I do my video and just kind of pull this down and put that on. It's a little, it's a little scary, but it's doable. Ooh, okay, perfect. And now I'll write 2024 on the top and I'll put my word of the day here. And the, like I said, I put it um, where it says turning the page to the new year. So that's where I had it in the Hobonichi Cousin, except when I did it last year, I'll show you guys. <clears throat> I did individual cutouts. And I think I mentioned this in the, earlier in the video and then I wasn't sure if I was gonna print it out and then I ended up getting off and then coming back on and printing it. So this is, video has been a little all over the place. I apologize, um, but yeah. So this was last year is pretty much, um, my word of the year was intentional. And I would, I, I would say that I definitely was a bit more intentional than I normally am and how I spend my time and just different things that I'm doing, maybe even the way that I'm speaking. Um, and yeah, I think this was a really good year for 2023, a really good word for 2023. So I'm going to think on, um, my 2024 word. And then we did our basement clean out that we actually did. We haven't finished all of it though. We're still in the process of cleaning things out, but we're going to create um, something along those lines where it's just kind of like very rustic. We did not travel to New Orleans, which was kind of unfortunate. Um, and we do want to do a trip to New Hampshire with the kids. We're actually thinking about doing that sometime after the new year. So close, but not quite. <laughs> but yeah, I would say that for the most part, I've tried to prioritize my health. Um, even if it's just some things like just being more conscious than drinking water. Um, and, you know, we had, um, I have my YouTube on here. I have my Etsy um, shop and um, YouTube. Actually, I think someone pointed out, they went back and watched my older videos, um, Amy, and she said, wow, she was like 500. She's like, you're almost at 3000 or whatever it was when she watched. So that was really cool. And I feel like a lot of these things um, I did do, traveling might have been a little over... <laughs> like ambitious because um, at the end of the day, and I've said this before, we are on one and a half income really. Um, I've been a stay at home mom. I worked at a preschool last year, but um, just little things have made it so I can stay home this year and I don't have to be at the preschool. It was kind of stressful, but um, traveling might be a little ambitious for us right now as a family of four, but we have a family trip planned for the summer of 2024 to um, have like a family reunion with Joe's family. So that'll be nice. Um, but financial goals we are still working on. And um, for the most part, we've achieved some of them, but then we've fallen behind with things because of the unexpected. And eventually our hope is to um, be in a place where the unexpected is okay because we have that sinking fund or whatever it is. So that's why um, we have this good money um, goals that we want to teach ourselves and also teach our children. And then just different goals, um, like the SMART goals, specific, measurable, act actionable, realistic, and timely um, seem to work. So this is the 2024 vision board. And I will fill you in on what I decide the word of the year is going to be. So, okay, just wanted to put that in there and I wanted to show you guys. And then this will get inserted in the video. So we will resume normal video, but let's look at this. All right, so here's the cover. I'm gonna pull it up to you guys so you can see it a little bit better without the glare on it. So I used a piece of black um, craft paper. It's got a little shine and shimmer to it, but I really, I'm really glad I decided to do that. Um, thank you, Miss Helen, for the inspiration. And then I used this on the back and all I did was add um, the reverse side of some craft paper. So it was white, so I like how that pops off of that better. Let's go to the inside. Oh, you know what? We're going to add these guys in here because we can't have a planner without coffee, something coffee on it. So, and this matches that. Um, maybe we just put this guy down too. Let me put him up here. Maybe we do like that or like this. I like it there. We're gonna put it like that. All right, cool. So that's another sheet I already used. All right, so this page, and then I still have enough here. So if I wanna add two other larger stickers, I can. Um, 
like if they, something's coming from a subscription, I can put one there. If they overlap a little bit, it's okay. But there's just enough space there for that one. Well, not that one, but that size. Okay, cool. And then I have my little pocket here. I just got myself like a daisy vellum from the craft store and I stuck that there. And then on this page, oh, I think this is my favorite. So this is a bit heavy because I have vellum on here and then I have craft paper, but that's okay. And I'm really, I'm glad I decided to go with like black and white with like just a bit of color here. And then my year at a glance calendar that we messed up um, August and September, but that's okay. It's all right. We're fine. We're fine. And then my perpetual calendar with all of the flower month seals. Oh, it would help if I started with January. So pretty. I love this. I'm so excited. And then for my monthly, I did just the Midori tab and I put Coffee Monster Co. By the way, I don't know if I said it, those tabs came from the Coffee Monster Co. Um, and her tabs, I love her tabs. So she has like this little marking um, where it's like lighter here and that's where you line it up to the page and then fold it over. So that's your guide. Um, so I added the monthly and then we have our weekly and I'm hoping, and you know what, if I don't like it with the tabs on or if I feel like maybe they're messing up my paper, which I don't think they will, um, I can always just switch back to the way I had it before. I certainly have enough monthly tabs for it. And then put the pencil down for the note section. And then here is how all of that came out. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. And I feel like it definitely goes with the neutrals and I've got a little bit of green in there to go with the sagey green color that I kind of threw into the mix. And then the back cover. I'm so excited, guys. I'm not doing anything on this part yet. Um, this will be also another section where maybe I can put um, some stickers on here or I can put like a the 2025 here and then maybe I'll do like a piece of craft paper and write out um, what I'm looking forward to for 2025. Wow, that's actually a really good idea. Maybe I'll do that in my Hobonichi 2024. I mean, 2023. Okay, anyways, thinking out loud. I know you guys are here for it. Um, let me know down in the comments what you think of this. I'm really excited. Um, oh, I gotta put my clear cover on. You can see this with the cover on it. And I'm going to say that I, I bought the wrong one. So I'm hoping this one's the correct one. I wasn't paying attention and I bought um, the notebook size. So I think this is also a Maduri. And I ended up buying the one for um, notebook instead of a thicker book. So let's make sure this is gonna fit before I decide to, yep, it should fit. All right, so. I'm going to fold this back. Now, if you're new to the Hobonichi Cousin or the Hobonichi Weeks, um, I know it's scary because it was really scary for me as well, but the way you put it on is you fold this back cover. It's not going to mess it up. Just be gentle if you don't want to bend it or anything like that, like the cover itself. And then this just slides right on. And then... You can close it just fine. So don't be afraid of that. I know it's scary because I did the same thing. Guys, I am obsessed right now. Let me know down in the comments if you are also obsessing over this like I am. Um, yeah, I'm just like, okay, I am ready for 2024. We are not that far out from the end. I can't even. We're only 10 days away from Christmas. So what is that? Like 15 days? Oh, goodness. 15 days until the end of 2023. Let me know down in the comments, what are you looking forward to in 2024? Do you make resolutions? Do you um, have a word yet? I don't have my word of the year yet, so it's okay though. I like to think about it. Guys, oh, I'm so excited right now. I'm gonna turn the light off so you can see a little bit better. Lighting, it seems like it might be okay in here because it's pretty bright out today. Ooh, I am one. Oh, wow, that's so skinny now. <laughs> so, yeah, I bought this for 2024, but I got really excited and I decided to use it now. This cover is stunning. Um, yeah, guys, let me know. I'm really, I'm very proud of this setup right now. Um, 
So please let me know down in the comments. Like I said, let me know if you have plans for your holidays coming up. What if you have like any New Year's resolutions, things like that. Um, I love to hear from you guys. I appreciate you all. Um, this was a long video, a long one, but a good one. So I appreciate you if you are still here. Um, thank you. Thank you. And, um, I'm trying to think of anything else. If you're still interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do that now so you don't forget. Um, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time we come out with something new on the channel. Um, and then give it a thumbs up if you like the video or any other videos. We really appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot. And um, I'm really excited because we're like at 3,700 subscribers. This community is amazing. And I'm so very excited to be hanging out with all of you. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. We're pretty awesome, right guys? Give me, give me a thumbs up or give me something down in the comments because we're all pretty awesome, but we're almost at 4,000. I don't even know if it's possible. We've got like, what I say, 15 days to the end of the year. Um, I don't know if we can hit 4,000. I don't know if there's anything you guys can do to help us hit 4,000, but if we can get some more awesome people involved in this community and hit 4,000 by the end of the year, that would be so mind-blowing and amazing. Um, so I don't know. I don't know any of those things. Like I don't know how it works in YouTube. I don't know if you share the video or like the video. I just know liking the video helps and those kind of things. So let's let's try. Let's try because that would be awesome, right? Um, and give us something to really celebrate in the new year. I have a lot of things. Playing Life with Aaron is coming out with a lot of things in the new year. Terrifying things things for me, but I'm very excited and I do everything scared. So it's fine. But, um, little, little hint, I'm thinking about starting a Patreon. So let me know if that's something you would be interested in. Um, I love hearing feedback from you guys. And if you are interested in something like a Patreon, what would it look like to you? What would you like to see from playing life with Erin for a Patreon? So, okay. I think that's it. Like I said, this is a long one. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you stuck around this long, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Um, and until I see you again, guys, have a beautiful week and keep planning. Bye.